Lisa here with Freedom Grows. Today I'm going to be separating pineapple suckers or pups from the main pineapple plant. Now what I did initially was I purchased a pineapple from the grocery store and I removed the pineapple top and I placed that in soil and it started growing for me. This is the original pineapple top that I had planted right here in the middle. Over time, it got stressed out. It went through a few nights of frost out here in Florida over the winter time, and it just stopped growing for me. So it sprouted these three little pups, and I will be removing two of the three pups, and I will be potting them up in a different container. When pineapples form pups like these, you generally want to remove them all but one so that they can all grow individually. You can still leave them on the plant and they will grow just fine, but you may get three separate smaller pineapples than if you were to just remove them and let them grow individually. When you're growing pineapples from the tops like I did, it can take about two to three years to form the actual fruit. If you're growing them from these little suckers or pups, it can take anywhere from one, one and a half years up to two years. So it grow significantly faster. I'm going to proceed to remove them and pot them up in different containers and I'll walk you through the process now. It might be a little difficult to see but we've got four plants growing. We have the original mother plant right in the middle and then we've got one pup here, another smaller one here, and a third one right here. To remove the pups you'll want to simply get at the base of the plant and just twist it off like you would a regular pineapple top from the grocery store Now for this third one, I'm going to leave it attached to the mother plant and here's why. The mother plant is not going to continue growing. It is pretty much done and the pups are taking over. Now considering that this pup is attached to the mother plant, it's going to take advantage of the entire root system. Whereas these two here will have to start forming their own root systems. So this one here will end up growing a lot faster than these two. So if you notice that you have one pup on one of your existing pineapple plants and the existing pineapple plant is growing just fine, go ahead and remove that one pup and plant it somewhere else. But if you've got a pineapple plant that is already spent, um, she's already fruited and she's dying off, you'll want to go ahead and leave that one pup attached because it will take advantage of the entire root system. And then of course, if you have more than one pup, go ahead and take all of them except for one off. Before I pop these up into their own separate containers, I'll go ahead and remove the bottom sets of leaves so that I can start exposing roots. The first pineapple was growing in a five gallon container and I have another one here that I will be placing one of these pups in. The soil that they prefer is a loose, well-draining, loamy, sandy type of soil. I do need to get this watered in because if I just place this in here and start watering, it may topple over. Now, a lot of times people will go ahead and skip this step and place it in a glass of water until it starts forming roots, but that's not actually necessary. You can do so, but I'm going to go ahead and just skip that and place it directly in the soil. I'll be placing the first one in. And I'm going to have to make sure that the soil stays damp. I guess this is probably why some people like to make sure that it forms roots in a glass of water first. Um, this way, what I'm doing here, I am skipping that step, but 
you do have to stay on top of it a little bit more, which I'm okay with. Just want to make sure that the soil doesn't go completely dry. It does want to form those roots, but also make sure that the soil is not wet and soggy all the time because then you can risk this little pup getting soggy and rotten and dying. The second pup will be going into this container here. It is not a fabric container, but it is technically still a five-ish gallon container. It actually might be more like a six or seven gallon, but that's fine. In goes the second sucker or pup. If you notice that wind or any outside element starts to topple these over, you can go ahead and stake it up somehow. Just make sure it gets propped up and that it's secure. I'm not going to be leaving these in full sun. I'm going to place them in a partial shady, partial sun location until they start forming their roots and becoming stronger plants and are completely set in the soil. And then the original pineapple plant with the one pup that we ended up leaving attached to the mother is right here. Here's another pineapple plant that ended up making it through the frosty nights. It did lose most of its leaves, but this one here didn't die off on me. And I don't see that it has actually formed any pups yet. However, it's doing really great on its own. Nice and healthy, forming new leaves. So this one will be left alone. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already so that you don't miss future content. Thank you for being here.